Today we are talking about Plasmodium vivax, which is a parasitic protozoa and it causes malaria disease in human. Malaria disease uh, is caused by this Plasmodium vivax, which is carried by a vector, which is Anopheles female mosquito. When an Anopheles female mosquito carrying this protozoa bites a human, a healthy human, it inserts the sporozoids of Plasmodium vivax. When the sporozoid of Plasmodium vivax enters the bloodstream of a human, it first targets the liver cells. It enters the liver cells and goes through asexual reproduction. Let us zoom into one liver cell and see what happens inside the liver cell. This is one liver cell and the sporozoid enters the liver cell and then it takes a spherical shape and the nucleus of the sporozoid becomes prominent. At this stage it is called schizont and it goes through an asexual reproduction called schizogony and forms cryptomerozoid or cryptozoids. During schizogony the nucleus divides and takes cytoplasm and forms the asexual reproduction. After leaving one liver cell, the cryptomerozoids enters another liver cell and goes through the same process again. And the merozoids formed in the second time, these merozoids are called metacryptomerozoids. These metacryptomerozoids can be of two types. These can be macro metacryptomerozoids and these can be also micro metacryptomerozoids. The macro metacryptomerozoids attacks another liver cells and the micro metacryptomerozoids goes to the RBC or red blood cell. It attacks or enters the RBC. So let us zoom into one RBC and let's see what happens inside this. When micro metacryptozoid enters RBC or red blood cell, this is a micro metacryptozoid and it's entering one RBC. Then the form is called trophozoid and the trophozoid looks spherical and the nucleus is quite prominent. This shape changes and there is a vacuole present in the next step. This vacuole is so big that it pushes the nucleus to the periphery and it looks like a ring-like structure and this structure is called signet ring structure or signet ring stage of trophozoite. The next stage, the vacuole disappears and it forms a structure similar to amoeba or this structure is called amoeboid structure of trophozoid. The next structure, it becomes spherical and forms a schizont. Here, Again, schizogony occurs, that is asexual reproduction, and it forms lots of merozoids inside the red blood cell. And the merozoids creates pressure and the RBC raptures and releases the merozoids into the blood and the merozoids again attack another RBCs.
continue the same process or it can start the sexual reproduction the merozoite can produce two types of gametocytes one is macrogametocyte which is the female gametocyte and the microgametocyte which is the male gametocyte but the sexual reproduction does not occur in the human body it occurs in the body of the mosquito when a mosquito sucks the blood from an infected human the gametocytes enters the gut of the mosquito through the sucked bloods i'm drawing a mosquito here please ignore the wings okay the mosquito this is the salivary gland of the mosquito and the mosquito has sucked the blood of an infected human and this is gut of the mosquito now through the blood the gametocytes are present in the gut of the mosquito now this is the female gametocyte and this is the male gametocyte this is the macro gametocyte and the micro gametocyte both of them goes through some processes the micro gametocyte divides and forms the gametes the male gametes or the sperms and forms a flagella like structure and the female gametocyte changes and forms the female gamete sexual reproduction in this is by syngamy and forms the zygote zygos zygote is not motile but it forms a structure ukinity which is a motile structure and it crosses the stomach wall of the mosquito by lytic enzyme and goes inside the stomach wall and remains in the inner side of the stomach wall of the mosquito then it changes its form and it forms a cyst like structure this is the cyst formed by the ukinity this is called the o cyst inside this o cyst the nucleus divides and forms another structures inside the o cyst these structures are the sporozoites the sporozoites burst out of the o cyst and comes into the body coelom of the mosquito and this sporozoites enters the salivary gland of the mosquito now when this mosquito bites another human these sporozoites can enter inside the body of the human and can infect another human again there are few stages where schizogony has occurred schizogony means the asexual reproduction in the first liver cell the schizogony schizogony is called the pre erythrocytic schizogony in the next liver cells this reproduction asexual reproduction is called the exo erythrocytic schizogony and one more schizogony occurs inside the red blood cell this is called the erythrocytic schizogony and in this life cycle of plasmodium vivax the sexual reproduction part occurs inside the body of the mosquito sexual reproduction or sexual cycle inside the body of mosquito and the asexual cycle occurs in the body of the human